In this video, we're going to be using Barrister and Man Terror and the Rockwell 6S Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. We have a good one for you today. Before we get into the video, I want to remind you that this video is brought to you in part by our good friends at Leaf. I'll pop up the Leaf and the Twig right there. If you'd like to get 5% off your order at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB right there and save yourself some money while shopping at Leaf. All right, today we're going to be using Barrister and Man, and this is Terror. And it's got a really interesting scent. This was uh, recommended by a viewer. Thank you, sir. Uh, and comment below if you're the one who <laughs> recommended. I've, I forgot. I apologize. But anyway, really interesting scent. To me, it comes off exactly as described, like cold water and maybe a little bit minty. Uh, the notes are frankincense and essence of cold water. It's kind of what you get. It's kind of weird because you think, what does cold water smell like? It's what I imagine this to smell like. And one thing I want to say right out, right out of the gate is I really like the firmness of this base. I don't know if this is a new base or what base this is. Barrister Man puts those little high, high, hieroglyphic like symbols on there. I don't know what they represent, but I did like lathering this because it was pretty firm and it has a beautiful pour. And I think it's just going to be a great shave today. The cost on this was $19.99 for four ounces and on our cost chart there it is right at that $4.99 per ounce still barely in the fair range um, but we hope to get a great shave with it today this is a tallow based soap 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 we're doing bad we're doing bad I'm bad at my job today <laughs> anyway soap we'll put the ingredients for you right there really looking forward to this today the razor for today is the Rockwell 6S, which is in blue, or as DK calls it, 6 Shady for Lord Shady on Insta, our good friend. And I am using the number 6 plate. I don't know if it's, if you can see that or not under there. It sort of focuses whatever is closest, but it is the 6 plate that's coming across. I absolutely love the electric blue color. But by the way, you can get Rockwell razors on Amazon for right around 100 bucks. The colored ones you can get only from direct from Rockwell. They're about 130 if you want a regular one. I'll link it below in the affiliate links. And if you use the affiliate links, it helps the channel. So thank you always uh, if you do. All right, the blade is the Gillette Nasset, which I've also linked below. I really like the Gillette Nasset blade. I think it's a very good blade indeed. By the way, if you haven't checked out our uh, unboxing from yesterday, check it out. I will pop it up here in one of the corners. You're going to want to get in on that when they start tomorrow. So anyway, check that out. The Razor Company, just awesome. All right. The brush for today is the PAA Phantom Aerolite, which I like. Today's a blue shave, and tomorrow will be the official blue shave to sort of uh, for mesothelioma awareness. I'm getting better at saying that. I'm getting better. And now that I've said I'm getting better, I'll mess it up next time, almost assuredly. Really nice lather today. Let's go ahead and show you a shot of the lather before we get started. There you go. And as you can see there, no problems whatsoever with the lather. It lathered easily and nicely. And man, that is some creamy goodness right there. And this has that uh, synthetic cooling agent. People call it synthetic menthol. It's not really synthetic menthol. It is a synthetic cooling agent. And like DK, I sometimes get that tingling feeling rather than cooling. But I will say, I tried a Murphy McNeil. One of their splashes had the synthetic in it and I actually got cooling so I was like hey awesome you know awesome um, so maybe this will actually give me the cooling and not the tingling but we'll see decay describes it best as like a, almost like a reaction where the skin is tingling but not actually cooling but so far I'm not getting anything at all so we'll see how it goes as the shape progresses nice creamy leather though I don't know if you can see the sheen on that but that is some good stuff right there I promise you all right Let's get into it. We don't need to lather all day. Let's cut that back and uh, see how we see how we do today with our Rockwell 6S, which I find to be for me the Rockwell 6S on all settings, very comfortable shaver. I prefer the five and six plate. In fact, it's the only plate that I uh, use, and it's got some good efficiency while still maintaining smoothness, which I really like. And that just feels great. And boy, what a looker this razor is. I love blue. I know 
DK doesn't like blue, but <laughs> I love it. It's one of my colors um, for sure. One of the things I like about DK, speaking of DK, if you haven't checked him out, go check out his channel, DK. Uh, I'll link it below for you. But anyway, he's one of those uh, folks that he's a younger guy, but it sort of molded in the tradition of the old school. Whereas I remember not even a couple of weeks ago, he uh, had a question for me about my thoughts on something. He just reached out to me and uh, and asked, and I just told him. And, and I like that. Rather than speculating, you know, he's one of those straight shooters. He'll just come right out and ask you rather than speculate or, you know. And so I like that kind of thing. So much respect. Much respect to DK. I, pre I always appreciate that. If you ever have a question, folks, about um, anything to do with... You know, shaving or my thoughts on shaving, you know, feel free to ask. And I appreciate DK just coming directly to the horse's mouth. That's always a good thing in my opinion. All right. So far, I'm not getting, I'm not feeling anything at all. No tingling, no cooling, no nothing. Um, whatsoever thus far. So sometimes it doesn't really hit to the, you know, second or third pass. So maybe... Maybe it will uh, catch up with us as we go. I don't know. But so far, I don't th feel anything at all. And this is marketed as a, quite a cooling uh, soap, but so far I don't get anything. Uh, and there was a sticker on the front, and I took it off because I don't like any kind of stickers on the top of the label. But here's the sticker that was on the, uh, the front of the label there, if you can read it. And it says, extremely cold. Keep away from anything you would not want to freeze more or less and so far I'm not feeling anything whatsoever so who knows maybe it will catch up with us like I said in the second or third pass but I would tell you right now this is a really nice quality soap and I like the scent it's not you know me I like um I like bright sort of scents generally it's it's not that it almost has a I hate to say minty vibe but it almost comes off a little minty without going into minty that doesn't make sense, I know, but it's it's on the edge of being minty, but it's by no means like peppermint or spearmint. It just sort of tiptoes in there, and then you, it really does remind you of cold, icy conditions. Um, so Barrister Man has done an excellent job at, at uh, producing a scent that I think matches the description. That doesn't always happen. Some uh, artisans will market a soap and say it will remind you of walking on this coast in Italy somewhere. And I'm like, first of all, I don't know what that smells like. But I don't imagine that this smells like that. <laughs> but this, I'd say, is well described. Apart from the cooling. I'm not getting anything at all for cooling just yet. So, But again, maybe, maybe that will uh, creep up. Mark from Friendship Shaving saw my unboxing with this. And he said he did one pass and his face was frozen for... <laughs> For quite some time so it wasn't for him but i'm not feeling anything yet so maybe i'm a little more resistant to it today than normal i don't know but let's get on with it man i love this rockwell success it really is a nice razor and for those of you who are new the rockwell success comes with three plates and there is a shave set um excuse me a shave setting on each plate and so you have six different levels you can shave with, with the Rockwell Success. For me, I just leave the five, six plate in my razor. Because uh, that's what I prefer. I like a little more efficiency. But even on the six plate, I don't find it to be remotely menacing at all. Still, I would call it even on the six plate, I probably still call it something close to medium, probably. Um, I just don't find it to be a menacing razor. You might think it's a little more efficient. It really just depends on... Um, has some bloopage there. <laughs> it really just depends on your personal scale of blade feel. And there's no real universal scale. You know, we just kind of all say, well, I think that's about medium. And for you, that might be really efficient. So, but for me, it feels really nice, really smooth. And the Gillette Nasset blade seems to be a good fit here. It's definitely a good shaver, the Rockwell. I like it. Not bad at all. And uh, I think, 
I think now I'm getting just a slight bit of cooling. It's not massive by any stretch of the imagination for me. Um, I'm getting a little bit, I think, or either that or it's in my head, but it's by no means freezing me. So, you know, I think the, at least for my skin, the marketing on the, you know, absolute freezing is, you know, not, uh, not, not accurate for me, for you, it might freeze you. Like I said, Mark from Friendship Shaving said, you know, it, it, it really <laughs> provided the cooling for him, but I'm getting some, but it's not, um, it's not tremendous. It's, I would call it entry level cooling, but I do know that a lot of people do report they get a lot of cooling from this. So keep that in mind, but I do like the soap and thank you, sir, for the recommendation. I might slip out there and pick up the splash before this is a seasonal. So if you want it, get it now. I got it from the razor company. I think they might still have some stock. I'll link that below for you. Once this uh, goes out of season and they sell the remaining stock, there probably won't be any more until next year or whenever they release it again. I don't know if they bring this one out every single year or not, but I will say I like it. It's good. It's an unusual scent, but it's a good scent. I'm like, this is not a scent I wear in an EDP or EDT or something like that. Don't get me wrong, but I find it to be quite pleasant and refreshing. Um, but the cooling, the, you know, um, not really getting much in the way of cooling. I can't remember. I know DK just used this not too long ago. I can't remember whether he got, I know he got some tingling. Fortunately, I'm not getting much tingling from it today, but I'm also not getting much cooling. Just a slight amount, just for enough for me to know it's there. But it's quite pleasant and I do like it. I've gotten, it's picking up a little bit in intensity at least. So maybe by the time this passes over and I rinse my face, maybe, maybe then it'll really be feeling cold. But for me, this is not a freeze your face type of soap. However, again, I caveat, it might be for you. You might use this and, and go, well, this is the coldest thing I've ever had on my face. So keep that in mind. Our skin is different. The way we perceive scents is often different. And so your experience may be quite different from mine. And if it is different from mine, it doesn't mean you're right and I'm wrong or vice versa. It just means, you know, our skins react differently. Just like our noses perceive scents differently. Sometimes you'll get a soap and there's something not in the notes and you smell it and it's there. You know, it's the way it presents itself to you and the artisan will go, that's not in the notes, but you smell it. <laughs> so keep that in mind there. You may not and likely will not have the exact same experience that I have. We all have different skin, different abilities in terms of our ability to discern notes and the way they come together. But this is a nice one. And I think they have done a good job of describing the scent. On the cooling, I'm getting some, but it's, it's not a lot. But I'm not getting that tingling that I normally get with the synthetic cooling agent. So that's good. That's positive. Cause I don't really like that tingling that much. I like the traditional menthol cooling. But I tell you what, that was an excellent shave. Soap quality, excellent. I, I really enjoyed the scent. This is an invigorating, refreshing scent, and, and I do like it. All right, let me rinse, then we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back at Offcam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum. There was no stinging or tinging, so that was a super smooth shave with no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Awesome. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel. I had an excellent shave today with Barrister and Man Care. Thank you, sir, for recommending it. I would say in terms of the label, awesome. Soap quality, awesome. The cooling, I, I did end up getting some light cooling, but it's it was not a face freezer for me. Um, so that part was eh, maybe a little bit of a letdown, but overall, I really like the soap and I am very, very happy having made this purchase. Really good stuff. Bear Stern Man Terror. You know, you always get good quality from Bear Stern Man. The Rockwell 6S on the six plate treated me very well today with the Nasset 
blade, beautiful razor. And again, they, they run about $99 on Amazon. I'll have a link for you below. The collared ones you get from Rockwell, about $130. Keep in mind around the holidays, they often have sales. So stay tuned for those. We used our PAA Phantom Aerolite brush, which I love. It's a great brush and it's in our um, Lancaster Razor Works brush looking <laughs> mug. We're gonna finish things out today with Bear Stern Man Oceana, which I used not too long ago, but I figured today's a blue shave. Let's, let's roll with it again. This stuff smells great. Nice aquatic type scent. Oh man, Woo. And we are gonna be off to the races and having a great, great day and I hope you have a great day as well. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, sure shave, do it your way and as always, God bless.